Hi Triathletes, welcome back to another session with Triathlon Tessa. Today I'll be sharing with you guys the 15 things that I cannot go without when I look at swimming. So if you like the content of this channel, please go and like and subscribe to my channel up here and also go and check out my social sites at Triathlon Tessa. I hope that you guys are still staying motivated during this lockdown time and for us in the southern hemisphere where winter is approaching quickly I hope that you guys all enjoy your indoor training so stay tuned as I share my swimming essentials with you guys guys so let's start off I'll first share some clothing with you and then we'll move on to some things that you can use in the pool the first thing that I can't go without would be my swimming cozy you'd need a cozy if you want to swim in a local swimming pool so that's the first thing that I would have bought for myself when starting out swimming then the second thing on my list for swimming would be a wetsuit so I'm using a coral wetsuit if you do open water swims or compete in races and it's a wetsuit legal swim you would need a wetsuit so you would not freeze in the open water so a wetsuit would be my second thing and then if we move on to the third thing for those swims that are not wetsuit legal I would suggest a swim skin so the third thing is a swim skin from Hub so that I'll also use when training if I don't want to train in my wetsuit to just be a little bit more buoyant now the fourth thing that I like while swimming would be a kickboard you'll see that this kickboard looks a little bit different than the normal triangular shapes I like these as your hands can easily grip over the sides while your arms would still be at the bottom part of the kickboard so that's something that I'll use in swim sets just to make my kicking a little bit faster then staying with swimming the fifth thing that I can't go without would be a pair of flippers these flippers are from Aquazone and I'll use them in kick sets as well as sets where I want to work on my ankle flexibility as flippers would also help your ankles be a bit more flexible and your ankles would work on flexing when you use your flippers for swimming then the sixth thing is something that I can't go without and that will be a pair of Orca open water swimming goggles you'll see that they are a little bit bigger than the normal swimming goggles that you use in a swimming pool I like them as they go all the way around my face so they don't leak and it's also much easier to see in open water when I use a pair of open water swimming goggles so how do you know if you have the correct fit of swimming goggles first off it should not go into your eye sockets at any place as that might be a bit uncomfortable and also make sure that the swimming goggles are correct for your face size so if you have a small face I suggest buying smaller swimming goggles and if you have a big face I suggest bigger swimming goggles now when you look at the swimming goggles if you want to know if it fits correctly over the shape of your face just put the goggles over your eyes and it should suck completely onto your face without putting the sling on the back of your head so when you put the goggles on and you push them down they should stay on your face that will tell you that the swimming goggles are made for the shape of your face and that they won't leave now let's look at the seventh thing I'll use this when I want to focus on power and also when I want to focus on my specific swim stroke and see improvement in my swimming so for that I'll use a pair of paddles I like the ones that are a bit bigger and also the ones that only go around your wrist and your middle finger as this will give your hands a little bit more flexibility and it's also much more comfortable than those that goes around all your fingers now the 8 thing will also assist me with the pool sets and that will be a pool boy so the pool boy would help me stay afloat and keep my legs from sinking down so a pool boy is a very nice thing to have when you practice your pool sets now with that I'll also use a band to go around my feet and this will keep my feet from splitting open and stay together now for this I just use an old inner tube from a road bike and tie to the correct length to go around my ankles so you don't need to buy this you can just use an old inner tube and then still on your pool sets something very nice that I can't go without is a snorkel I'll use this snorkel in the beginning of each training session as this will help me focus on my technique so for the first 10 or 20 percent of the session I would focus on technique now the snorkel helps me do that by taking out the breathing so I can focus exactly on how to do my stroke I'll also use this when doing pool sets 
So that will help me place the focus on how my stroke will be during the pool set. The most important thing to remember is when you use a snorkel, make sure that you're used to blowing through the snorkel. In the beginning, the water kept on going into my nose and I used a nose clip for the first month or two. Then one day the nose clip accidentally broke and I had to learn to swim without a nose clip. The nice thing about a snorkel is you can practice your normal breathing when using a snorkel. Whereas if you have a nose clip over your nose, it will hinder your normal swimming breathing and you would struggle to adjust when swimming without the snorkel. As you got used to the tempo of breathing when you wore the clip over your nose. So I use the snorkel for doing pool sets as well as doing my training in the beginning of the session where I focus on technique work. And now the 11th thing would be a swimming cap. Now most local swimming pools won't let you swim without a swim cap. I like one that's not too stretchy and that would fit nicely over my head. Not too tight and not too flexible. So make sure that you replace your swimming cap before it breaks as swimming caps can tear as you use them very often. Now the 12th thing that I can't go without would be my finesse tempo trainer. This is the most important thing of my training as this will help me a lot when I want to increase my stroke rate or if I want to bring down my pace per 100 meters. There's different settings on your finesse tempo trainer and that will also guide you on how to increase your stroke rate or either bring down your pace per 100 meters. So I use this in almost every training session and I'll use this when I do my warm up focusing on technique as well as when I do my interval sets and then sometimes in the end when I do my fast swimming to increase my stroke rate and then something that I'll always have with me whether it's in a race or if it's when I go out swimming would be a bottle of swimmer's ear cleanser. I'll usually use this after swimming if there's some water clog in my ears to open them up. It's alcohol based so if you put a couple of drops of them in your ear, your ears would open immediately and you won't sit with that glong 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 sound the whole day. So this is something very nice to buy. You can find that at your local pharmacy as well. You also get a different brand that you can put into your ears before you start swimming that are oil based and that will keep the water from going into your ears. The second last thing that I'll also take with me whether I'm going swimming at the pool or whether I'm at the race would be a pair of stretchy cords. Now stretchy cords can help you warm up on land if you are not allowed to go into a water before a race. This will also help me warm up before my swimming session. So when I'm at the gym and I just want to warm up a little bit, I'll just put this around one of the poles and then just quickly warm up my arms and my lats. So this is just a pair of normal stretchy cords that you can use when you're doing some arm exercises as well so it's not a special one just for swimming. I use the Trojan stretchy cord that you can do for arm exercises at home. Now the last thing that I can't go out if we look at swimming would be a swimming bag. Now I like a swimming bag that's drainable as when I put all my swimming aid inside the water would drain out and all of the stuff in this bag would dry out by itself as the water can drain out. Whereas if you use a bag that's closed the water will stay inside and then after a day or two a smell would come on the inside of the bag. So that's the things that I use for swimming. I hope you guys have recognized some of the stuff that you use when swimming and also recognize some of the stuff that you want to add onto your swimming collection. If you like the content of this channel go and like and subscribe to my YouTube channel up here. Also go and check out the website at www.tryathlontessa.com and also go and check out my Facebook and Instagram on Triathlon Tessa. So keep up the training and stay motivated. And I'll see you guys soon.